late yesterday I was down here uh, I don't think I filmed it I was digging some trenches or a trench so I just got looking at the lay of the land here and realized uh, that I could drain this so I cut this out and that pretty much drained it I rerouted uh, some of the water coming down so that it went down there instead I just dammed it up right there it was coming down here and now it's going over here one of my neighbor's uh, girlfriend's visiting with her little wiener dog. You can hear it in the background along with their generator. He usually runs a small one that you can't really hear. Don't know why he's got the big one going. So this still has a flow from somewhere. Because I've cut it off. From there because it was actually coming from the big puddle this was the whole idea also to drain that but it was coming over here and filling up this area but I think we've still got some uh, water that comes out of the ground along here and comes through that's some punky cedar I think I'm going to have to start cutting down live trees. Every standing deadwood that I get, it seems like it's uh, gone punky already. I may cut that down just to throw in here. I'm just going to keep on throwing logs in. Ooh. Well, I don't know if there's any point. I guess for walking. There's a way around. Well, for it being a rainy day, I got a lot done. There was a little break. It was still very windy, but uh, I quickly slapped up uh, a couple of two-by-fours and created a peak and then draped this big tarp that I... was a spare tarp I had because I uh, moved everything into the shed, the steel shed I finally built. So I had this available and it's working great did some improvements on the shelter here just uh, brought it up so the, the peak doesn't slope it's pretty much level now it just made the edges better yep yep I tell you there's got to be big fish in here because look at all the small ones look at them all Hopefully you can see that. There's hundreds of them. It's like a little nursery. To me, they look like rainbow trout. Maybe brook trout. There's got to be some big ones in here. Somebody's laying them. We're out for an ATV ride and uh, just came across this pretty little spot. It's uh, at this point we're on a seasonal road. So this was like right beside it. We drove by and I glanced and saw it and decided to come back. came from that way we're going that way this is called uh, was it Jerusalem Road or Old Jerusalem I love when we're on a, a new trail you gotta drink this in because it'll never happen again I'm just processing some wood up in the driveway and we're just bringing it in on the ATV. So honestly, I, I don't know if I'd trust a, any type of little utility trailer down the, the hill over there. 
So anyway, this first row is underneath some wood. I had some other ones cut, but I, ha I don't have my axe. It's up at the driveway, so I thought I pulled all the punky wood that was at the bottom of this row because I'm not going to burn it. It's, it's something I got in the winter and just realized it was too punky. So these two outer rows, the punky wood's just going to keep the good wood off the ground. So I'm going to finish this and maybe I'll go get one more load. There's something else I wanted to bring in too. I'll remember when I get out there. Getting rid of a little debris. A lot of debris. All the gra I poured a couple of or three five gallon pails of water all around everything around here. Pulled everything away. And I'm just going to slowly burn everything. Got a pile here, pile over here, pile in behind. Got all that other wood I'm going to chop up and use just for campfires. Got some family coming up tomorrow. Looking forward to it. horns on I'd be sitting here shaking a little they look a lot less intimidating I'm just gonna set it out and see what happens oh there he goes wow what a big beast I think that's that same one that scared the crap out of me when I was in the canoe last fall amazing he's not in rut now so completely different I do have an escape route planned. I'm, uh, I'm on my ATV. Amazing. Where is he? God, they disappear so quick. Yeah, I drove over further east and then started walking. I thought I'd, uh, I might have met the moose. They like to walk over where I just went, <clears throat> but I think he, this is uh, where I was looking at him. He was like sniffing that ribbon. So I think he just walked back here. I'm gonna keep walking. Yeah, you can see. see his footprints. I don't know if you can make it out. <clears throat> this is right where you're standing. Fuck, he's right around here somewhere. <laughs> 